I installed a pressure gauge on my DW Mistral double hose regulator and I thought some other vintage divers might like to see how it's done. First you need a banjo fitting to give access to the high pressure coming out of the tank. This goes between the regulator and the tank valve. You can see there's an O-ring to seal it here. And you can see this side looks just like the valve on the regulator. I got this one in a new production from the Vintage Double Hose website. Second thing you need is a long yoke to make up for the space that is taken up by the banjo fitting. Here's a comparison of the original yoke and here's the long yoke. I got this long yoke from the Scuba Museum and uh, had it replated in uh, electroless nickel. It looks kind of nice. To install the banjo on your tank, you fit it between the nozzle of the regulator and the valve. You can see where the end of the regulator looks like this. So does this side of the banjo. Goes over the top of the regulator, goes on to the valve. Goes over the top of the regulator, goes on to the valve, screw the valve tight, make sure everything's centered up before you tighten it tight. There's the pressure gauge, turn on the air, it works. Rebuilt Mistral double hose regulators are gaining in popularity all over the world. Adding a pressure gauge with a banjo fitting and a long yoke is just part of the vintage double hose experience.